A layer can be thought of as a container for drawing objects. There are two kinds of layers in Vectorworks, design layers and sheet layers. They serve different purposes. Design layers are where you create your design, and sheet layers are where you present your design. Let's take a closer look at these two kinds of layers. We'll start with design layers. When you open a new Vectorworks file, you begin on a design layer, ready to begin drawing and modeling objects. Click on Tools, Organization to open the Organization dialog box, and then click on the Design Layers tab. Let's look at some of the properties of design layers. Right now, there's only the one design layer in the new file, so by default, it's the active or current layer. With the design layer selected, click Edit. In a new drawing, the default layer displays at a one-to-one -one scale, where an inch in the drawing represents an inch in the real world. Click the Scale button. The Layer Scale dialog box allows you to set a different scale for that layer or all layers. Depending on what you're drawing, you should set the layer scale to the scale you'll need for most of your drawing output. If you do not have a particular scale you intend to use for all of your layers, then simply leave them at one-to-one, -one, and scaling for printing or other output can be handled more easily via viewports on sheet layers, which will be explained shortly. Returning to the Edit Design Layers dialog box, most Vectorworks drawings have more than one design layer. If you imagine layers as stacked floors, the stacking order represents their position in the stack. Each new layer is placed on top of the stack. The elevation sets how high each layer is from the ground, or elevation zero. The layer wall height sets the thickness of the layer and can be used as the default value for setting walls drawn on the layer to automatically span the entire layer. The scale, elevation, wall height value, and other parameters for new layers are automatically set based on the previous layer settings. Layers, like classes, have three visibility settings, controllable via the organization dialog or navigation palettes. Layers can be visible, gray, or invisible. In addition to the visibility controlled per layer, you also have a broader layer option setting. Layer options are a method of controlling visibility and snappability of layers in relation to the currently active layer, rather than changing each layer one at a time. Show, Snap, Modify Others lets you see all layers and select objects on all layers, regardless of which layer is set to active. Show, Snap, and Show Others let you see other layers than the active layer, but you'll be unable to select objects on these other layers, with the latter disabling snapping to the non-active layers as well. Gray and Gray Snap Others gray out all other layers other than the currently active layer, with the former disabling snapping to those grayed layers. And finally, Active Only lets you hide all layers other than the currently active one without having to change each of them manually. If you change the active layer, you'll also change which layer is currently visible while this setting is active. As you draw and model on the various design layers, you can view them one at a time and can see them in top plan, 2D view, or in the various 3D views. If you have a design series product, you can use the navigation palette to easily gray or hide layers to evaluate the design. As your drawing nears completion, it's time to think about presentation, documentation, publishing, and printing. This is where sheet layers come in. Viewports, which are like snapshots of the drawing, can be placed on sheet layers. Viewports are covered in more detail in other videos, but typically, a viewport is created by navigating to a design layer, then using View, Create Viewport, and selecting a destination sheet layer. Unlike design layers, sheet layers always display in top plan view and are always at a one-to-one -one scale. The viewports upon them, however, can display with different scales, different views, rendering modes, and they can be annotated as needed for your design requirements. The Sheet Layers tab of the Organization dialog box lists the sheet layers in the drawing and their properties. There are not as many properties available for sheet layers since they serve different purposes. The DPI setting affects the printing resolution of raster render geometry for items in viewports when the sheet layer is printed. Typically, Sheet layers are where section and elevation viewports are placed and annotated for final documentation and presentation. Each viewport has its own display settings for complete flexibility.